I've gotten some questions about the on trigger enter um, method or function on in Unity. And the on trigger enter is basically a function that is called whenever two triggers are colliding with each other or they hit each other. And it's used for um, for collision basically. So let's say that we have a game where the player needs to reduce its health whenever it gets hit by a projectile. Well, then you can set up two triggers, like the player is a trigger and the projectile is a trigger, and whenever the projectile hits the player, then it reduces itself. Um, I'm going to show a very simple example of this um, on trigger enter. So the first thing we need is two game objects, and we're going to work with 3D objects here. So I'm just going to add two cubes. And one of them is going to be our player, I call this player, and the other cube is going to be my enemy. So here we have a player and an enemy. And first thing we need to do is to create a script. So I'm going to click in my asset folder, create script, C sharp script, and I'm just going to call it player. OK. So to make this, um, to give some functionality to our script, I'm going to go to my player script here. I'm going to say that my player has. Um, has some health and he has like 100 health whenever he spawns in our game. Okay, so the on trigger enter is a function that is called whenever two objects collide, as I told you earlier. And if you go to the Unity script reference and um, go to, should be some on trigger enter here, you can see that there is actually a script, script reference on. Uh, Unity script references that shows you how this on trigger enter is structured. And basically, whenever you go to Unity script reference and see uh, a method, well, then you just need to add it to your script for it to work. So, as you can see here, we have void on trigger enter that takes collider as a parameter and then they do something to the other game object. So, this other here is supposed to be that game object your object collides with. So if I go into my game and say I have my player here, and if it collides with my enemy here, well then this object called other is actually the collider that sits on my enemy object here. And as you can see, my enemy object has a box collider on it. If it wouldn't have this collider on it, well then the on trigger enter wouldn't work. But our enemy already has a collider, so we don't need to add anything. If we needed to add a collider, we could go to add component, go to physics, and then add some kind of collider here. It could be a box collider, sphere collider, capsule, mesh, or whatever you want to. But anyway, if you have any uh, doubts about how something works, just go to the uh, Unity script reference. As you can see here where I was before, there are different messages, different messages um, in the script reference. There's on, in, on trigger enter, which is called whenever two triggers collide. On trigger ex exit is called whenever the um, trigger does stop colliding. Um, on trigger stay is called as long as the two colliders, uh, the two triggers are colliding. So, and there's also a collision here instead of a trigger if you don't need the objects to pass through each other. So, but we're only going to look at the on trigger. So, if we go to the script here, then you. You saw before that we need to write void on trigger enter collider other. Okay, so there are different types of uh, types on trigger enter because we are working with 3D objects. You saw I went to game object, 3D objects, and added a cube. But if I would have added a sprite here like this and had added some uh, images and everything to it, well, you can also make collision with those 2D sprites. But the difference is that you need to go to on trigger enter and write 2D. And on, on collider here, you might, might write collider 2D. Because you need to tell Unity that you're working with 2D sprites and their collision handling is a little different uh, different on, on 2D objects. But we're working with 3D objects, so we're just going to write on trigger enter. One thing is, it's very important that you write on with big letters, and you may write this with Pascal casing. So you start with big letters, and every other word is, every next word that comes up is with um, capital letters. If you write this wrong, let's say I write on trigger enter like this, well then this function is not going to get called, because it looks for an overwrite of a, a function that is written on 
trigger enter like this. So always make sure that you write the correct uh, write it correctly here. Okay, so I want to do something to my enemy. I want to first of all I want to reduce my health, and I want to change the color of my enemy. So I say other to get this um, object I'm colliding with. Dot um, render I think it's called yeah that color material material that color equals color that red yeah. okay so when I hit my enemy well then I'm gonna change my enemy's renderer material color to red so when my enemy and my player collides now the enemy's color is gonna switch to red and then I would use my health I'm also just gonna write debug that lock health left okay so now I would use my health and write how much health I have left in my um, in, in my um, what's it called debug console okay okay so as you can see that this this method is called on trigger enter and because it's called on trigger enter we need to um, work with triggers and as you can see here there is um, a box here, checkbox called is trigger, and that checkbox makes this collider into a trigger, and that's what we are looking for whenever we write on trigger enter. Before we uh, start to change this on trigger, let's add a rigid body to both our objects. So you go to add component when you have selected your enemy, physics rigid body, and basically uh, a rigid body make sure that the Unity physics system can interact with this game object. And whenever you add a rigid body and you play your game, you'll see that the object starts falling. And it's falling because it has this use gravity checked here. So you want to uncheck that before you do anything else. And in this case, usually sometimes you might want the gravity to work. But now I don't want the gravity, so as you can see, it doesn't fall more, more this object. Same goes for your player, add component physics, rigid body, and then remove the use gravity. Okay, so we were working with triggers, and the difference between triggers and non-triggers, you will see here. So if I collide with my two objects, you can see that they interact with each other, so they start bouncing off of each other like this, because they're not triggers. If I would go to my enemy and say it's trigger, and my player is trigger, I actually only need to do this one of them, then you'll see my player would at least pass through my enemy now so I don't get that bouncy effect and they don't collide off each other like that because they're triggers. So that's the difference between um, triggers and non-triggers. Okay, So now our scene is actually set for this. We have a box collider that is a trigger and a rigid body and we have a box collider that is a trigger and a rigid body on our enemy. What we need to do now is to save our script, take the script and drag it onto my player. If we play now, see that when I take my player and collide with my enemy, it writes down here, health left 99, and it changes the color of the enemy to red. So that's basically the code we wrote here. Reduce my health, write the health to the debug log, and change the renderer. Okay, so we're not interested in um, in this functionality like this because if our player collides with anything else, let's say a box or a wall or something, it also loses its health. So if I would take uh, another game object here, let's see where I should place that? Let's just place that here, and we call this uh, this a wall or something. So this is a wall, and we're not interested in our player you losing health whenever um, it hits a wall. We need to add some physics to this also. Okay, so if I take my player here and hit the enemy, I lose health to 98 because I keep hitting it, and then I hit into my wall, and I also lose some health and the wall turns uh, yet red. 
And I'm not interested in that. I only want to reduce my health whenever I hit the enemy. So first thing we need to do is to add attack to the enemy. Let's say that we go to this attack line here. And if you don't have the enemy attack, you need to go to add attack, write enemy here, and then go back to your enemy, select attack, and select the enemy attack. So now my enemy is attacked as an enemy. I could do this. I could also duplicate it like this, so I have more enemies, so whenever I hit an enemy, I reduce my health. So the tag is a good way of making groups of objects um, appear the same. So if we have 10 enemies, we just tag all of our enemies' enemy, and whenever my player, or our player hits an enemy, it would reduce its health. So in our script here, we need to check up on if other is an enemy. So I only want to do all this, if other dot tag equals enemy. So I put my put my script in here, uh, my yeah, functionality in here. So if I collide with another object, then I look at the collider I'm colliding with. If that collider I'm colliding with is tagged as an enemy, then I reduce my health write my health to the console and change the render of the other object. So if I go back here, grab my player and collide with the enemy, my health have reduced to 99, collide with the other enemy, health have reduced to 98, I collide with, uh, with the wall and nothing happens because I haven't, uh, because it checks up on that if it's an enemy I have to do that and now you can see that this is a wall, so I'm not uh, going to do anything else. So that was on trigger enter. We can also make this void on trigger exit. And it has the same structure, so it's collider other. So we can actually do the same here. Okay, if we collide with an enemy in on trigger exit, which means when we exit an enemy, well then we also reduce our health, but we change the color to green for example. And we can also say, yeah, well, if we hit a wall or something, let's call this wall um, attack, right wall, go to the wall and tag it as a wall. You can also just look the, at the game object's name, but let's just uh, add the tag. So if we collide with a wall, else if other dot tag equals wall, well then we say health plus plus, because we want to gain health when you hit a wall for some reason. And we change the right, we change my renderer, renderer dot material dot color to color dot uh, blue for example just do something else. So when we hit an enemy, we reduce our health, change the enemy's color to red. When we hit a wall, we um, add to our health and write our health to the screen and change our own color to blue. Okay, so let's see if this works. We also add an untrigger exit. So whenever we exit another object and that other object is an enemy, then we also reduce our health and we change our uh, the enemy's inventory color to red. See here. Okay, so my player enter the enemy, he turns red, exit him, he turns green. Same goes for the other one. Enter him, reduce health, exit him, health reduced again. And if I hit a wall, my color goes blue, and we also add something to my health. So you can see here I get health every time I pass through him. Okay, that was a little tutorial on the on-trigger uh, events here. If you have any questions, please post in the comments. If you want me to make some movies about something else, some small tutorial videos about something else, post it in the comments. Um, I hope you like it. Yep, have a nice day.